completely. Because they no, got we got KP2 on our team, mate. I think this is Kus. Uh, mate, we got KP2 on our team. Oh yeah, well, mm. I'm it's staying with that thing. It's I want to see. good in this map, is it? It's only eighteen thousand research. Yeah. I don't know if tanks. That's kind of a lot. I find if tanks, it's way harder to get. It's funny though how the German painted the thing. I mean, not the Germans, the Russians. Painted it. Yeah, they didn't like the KV2, did they? Mm. It was useless. I mean, it couldn't. The turret couldn't turn while moving. If it was on a hill, the turret couldn't turn. You know. Yeah, it's got a big gun. It's more of like for destroying bunkers or something. Yeah. Like I mean, you can't really camp it, conceal it, can you? Of course not. <laughs> um. They did have good armor, yeah. Yeah, had remember, one armor. Remember this, there was one case uh, where it was in the beginning of the war, and the Germans just could not penetrate this KV-2. They eventually ended up putting like the biggest guns literally right next to it and blowing holes in it and just throwing like grenades inside because they just could not destroy it any other way <laughs> um, it's very, very it, it does used, go quite yeah. faster yeah but uh, you know if they were properly used they, they could have easily halted the Germans yeah, just don't move them, keep them in a big massive hole. Yeah, keep the them like in, around the city or something, right? And just, you can defend it wherever. Yeah. I love, it's ironic what's on his turret, you know, it says big shot. <laughs> With a peace sign as well. Well, that's just the duality of man, right? right? <laughs> Village shit. Tens coming to a village, apparently. I love how there's action. This is a new map, isn't it? I think it's. I'm not sure. Because Kursk is. Yeah, it is. I haven't played this map before. <coughs> and it's a village, not a, like a city, so. Hmm. Seeing as we're here now, they must be here because this is the middle. Yep, I was right. Yeah, the guy did say it was an M10. <coughs> My nemesis. I really hate the M10. <coughs> Playing against it. I don't know why, but they always just end up killing me. Oh shit. Go, oh, there's one down. Sure. Man. He's burnt out. These bushes are so annoying, just get me away. Cromwell. Crap, oh no. I didn't have a tower. I'm coming to you. Oh. I hit the Cromwell's transmission. No, I'm not coming to you. I hit his radiator. I'm shooting the back of him, which is funny because he's behind a building, right? But I can still hit him. Oh! I saw a guy just outside. I got hit, I got hit, I got hit, I don't know where. Yeah, I can see him. Ah, oh, I see him now. Yeah, this guy behind the... the house. Oh, the KV-2 missed. Oh, no. It's funny how the KV-2 is in 1939. What do you mean? I mean, it was made in 1939. Yeah. Yeah, 
careful because we're all coming into this village room. I'm dead. Are you? No, I'm not, but the M10 missed. You know how lucky I am that he missed. Yeah. Made it behind the house just in time. I think my gear player shot him in. Someone else is shooting the M10. Lumen L, the KV2 took some time to destroy that. I loved when I saw that thing, the KV-2 destroyed that little M2 because all you saw was the recoil of the gun who pushed the tank back. <laughs> 